there are four ways that sellers get paid. The first is cash. The second is seller financing. The third is equity rollover. And the fourth is an earnout, the dreaded earnout. Let's talk about these four different ways. Cash, easy. Second is a seller financing. Seller financing is basically the buyer saying, I'm going to buy your company for $15 million. The bank will lend me 13. Will you loan me $2 million? And I will pay that to you. That is not contingent, but it is subordinated to the bank loan. There are some advantages to seller financing and obviously some disadvantages as well. That is an issue that we need to discuss in greater detail. But seller financing is not contingent and it is one of the ways in which sellers get paid. The next is equity rollover. That is the buyer may come in and say, I'd like to buy 90% of your company or 85% of your company. I want you to have a continuing interest in the growth of the company. That depends a lot on who the buyer is. Some buyers almost always require there to be some type of equity rollover. Some buyers don't want that at all. Um, there's actually some benefits to sellers of taking an equity rollover. It gives you what's called a second bite of the apple. That is, somebody might be buying your company today for $15 million, but they might be growing it and selling it in five years from now for $50 million. You might find that the amount that you roll over in equity becomes quite valuable to you, but it's something that needs to be talked about and thought through very carefully. The third is the earnout. Now, earnout has a terrible reputation. Uh, it's where litigation comes from. Uh, it's where disputes from buyers and sellers come from. Historically, earnouts have been done on profitability, and that is just a loser's game. It is not good for the seller to do an earnout based upon the continuing profitability of the company. Earnouts need to be done based upon binary things. Either a contract has been won or it's not. Revenue has come in or it is not. And then there can be some sharing of that benefit between the buyer and the seller. So earnouts are actually very important, but it's incredibly important that they be structurally sound um, so that it can be fair to both the buyer and the seller. So those are the four ways that sellers get paid.